What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with this video, make sure like always if you want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news, then make sure that you do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 16,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer transfer window, so do stay tuned for that. Don't forget social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video aiming for 300 likes and most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers and lastly I want to give a big shout out to the latest jsgc member caroline king your support is much appreciated by me getting access to custom stickers and emojis as well as priority access to some of my videos as well so a big shout out to you if you want to become a jsgc member all you need to do is press that join button next to the subscribe button without further ado let's crack on with this video we've got big updates on sergio aguero Lionel messi killian and Mbappe and also Erling Haaland. Massive update, so stay tuned. So firstly, we're going to go on to contract news and we've got a little update on a person that we're speaking about a few videos back and it comes in the form of uh, Juan Marlilo, the uh, assistant manager at Manchester City. Now, he was getting linked with the job at uh, the uh, Chile for their national team and according to Sports Witness, Lilo has said, no, he wants to focus on working with Pep Guardiola uh, and being his right-hand man. So, Lilo going to be staying at Manchester City. So, good news. So, an update now on Sergio Aguero. No progress yet on his new contract, but with him returning from injury, it seems like it's Sergio Aguero's last chance to shine for Manchester City to earn a new contract. His future literally on the line. That's according to Fabrizio Romano. And Sergio Aguero has confirmed that he does not know what's going to happen with his future. His contract is expired inspiring in June. He has hinted and said he would really like to work with Lionel Messi, so I'm sure the rumour mill with Messi joining Manchester City will get going with that, but it's it's just as likely uh, that uh, Barcelona's president, when they are elected, could say that we want to sign Aguero, bring him to Barcelona, because he could sign a pre-contract agreement with Barcelona and appease Lionel Messi for him to stay there, so one or two things could happen there. Uh, at the moment, though, Sergio Aguero, he could well be leaving Manchester City, which makes me extremely sad to say, uh, with his contract expiring in June, I wanted him to retire at Manchester City in the thought of Mancini's legacy, that 2011-12 season. All the players now will no longer be associated with Manchester City. Let that sink in because that really hurts. I feel like the problem City have got, if Aguero uh, can prove his fitness, is then uh, in terms of how long his contract would be. I could see City giving him 12-month extension and another 12 months uh, on top of that based on appearances and goals and things like that. However, like I said, if Barcelona want to come in, uh, or possibly uh, PSG, or also being linked with Sergio Aguero, want to make a move, they could come in offering maybe two or three year contract, uh, and that all of a sudden, uh, in the long term, anyways, giving Sergio Aguero more uh, sustainability with regards to his future. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Aguero. The one thing Manchester City need, and I want Aguero to stay, we need him to be fully over his injuries, back on the playing field, back starting for Manchester City, and back to scoring goals he's got from now until the end of May for that to happen I don't think any decision will be made before May uh, and so uh, if if it is then that's uh, going to go one or two ways it's either he's confirmed that he wants to leave City or he's managed to recover from his injury he's firing on all cylinders and City are happy to give him an extension we're going to have to wait and see what happens with regards to uh, Sergio Aguero but uh, yeah he could well leave Manchester City, so let that one digest. Now, moving on to the outs, we've got an update on Alexander Zinchenko. Fabrizio Romano, he's reporting that he's set to stay at Manchester City past this summer. Pep Guardiola and Manchester City are really impressed with Alexander Zinchenko. Uh, apparently now are happy for him to stay. Uh, and said they're not going to be listening to uh, loan offers and loan offers with uh, an option or an obligation to buy. No mention, interestingly, of a permanent transfer. So I'm wondering if uh, a good offer was to come in for Zinchenko, whether City would would consider that or not. Uh, anyway, Fabrizio Romano has said that, that Manchester City, they are pushing ahead for a left-back regardless. Um, but 
Uh, unless that left back is homegrown, it does mean that either Zinchenko or Mendy would have to leave. Uh, with how good Alexander Zinchenko has been over the last couple of months for Manchester City, doesn't sound like good news that for Benjamin Mendy, who, when given the chance, and he will be given the chance between now and the end of the season, really does need to uh, prove himself. But uh, not only with Aguero's future now becoming uncertain, what's going to happen with Mendy? Will it be Mendy or Zinchenko leaving if we do go for a left-back? And I can't see it being a homegrown left-back that we sign, so... Yeah, so moving on to the ends, we've got a new name, comes in the form of Matthew Hopp. He's a 19-year-old striker for Schalke. Manchester City is said to be highly impressed with him, who scored five times in eight starts in the Bundesliga. Manchester City's name now being chucked out there for the German uh, youngster. That's according to 90 Minute Football. Now, moving on to another story, we've got an update on Erling Haaland. Fabrizio Romano has also given us an update on that uh, and the striker situation at City as well, saying uh, Haaland to Manchester City, uh, struggling for City to get it done. It's blocked at the moment. What he means by that is that Borussia Dortmund won't be selling Erling Haaland. There is an option, uh, sorry, there is a buy option um, for him to leave Borussia Dortmund, which becomes active. Uh, this release clause becomes active in the summer of 2022. It's been confirmed that it is £65 million. You would have thought it would be well within the best interest of Borussia Dortmund for, for him to leave. Uh, I'm not too sure. Apparently, Haaland's been advised by his agent and his representatives just to, to stay put for now. Um, I'll be honest, I think City will find it very difficult to get a deal done for Haaland. What I can see doing uh, is what Upa Meccano's just done for RB Leipzig, uh, which is uh, Bayern Munich. Uh, they've got an ageing striker, class striker, Robert Lewandowski. They'll need a long-term replacement. Erlin Haaland, already playing in the Bundesliga. They can swoop in nice and early, like they've done with Upa Meccano. Bayern have to bring him in, beat off the competition... They have good work in relations by and do with uh, uh, with um, Haaland's agent, Rayola. Pay him the agent fee, pay Haaland the big wage, make him one of the highest paid players. Come to the Germany's most prestigious club in Bayern Munich. Uh, I can see Bayern Munich maybe giving a little sweetener back to Dortmund. Uh, I don't know what the situation is with regards to Lewandowski, but all I know is he's getting no younger younger option there in Haaland. I can see uh, Bayern Munich and, Bundesliga, and the Bundesliga wanting Haaland to come to Bayern so they can try and stay on top of the European pedestal. So it's becoming more and more difficult, that transfer. As much as I'd like to see Haaland play for City, like I said, it is getting very difficult now. Uh, so instead, we're going to move on. And we've got a little update on Romelu Lukaku from Inter Milan. Uh, apparently Manchester City are finding it hard to sign him as well. Uh, Inter Milan insisting they want £80 plus million, pounds, which Manchester City apparently are very reluctant to pay. That's according to Fabrizio Romano, so we're struggling to get that over the line instead. And based on these uh, rumours now, uh, a new name or another striker has been chucked out there in the mix. Uh, we've not been linked with in past few months or so, comes in the form of Killian and Bappi from PSG. Now, Sports Witness uh, are saying that PSG, they're demanding um, over 200 million euros for his signature. Apparently, Manchester City haven't been put off by this price tag, which I find very hard to believe, if I'm honest. Um, but apparently, City aren't put off by this price tag uh, and do want to make a move. Apparently, City are only one of four clubs that could afford uh, to sign Killian and Bappi from PSG. Um, PSG and Manchester City, not too sure if they'd be willing to work together with each other to to sign a uh, to, to sign a player from one another uh, and particularly with a big transfer like Mbappe I'm just I'm not sure if I'm completely honest uh, I can see Man City um, over the coming months getting linked with other strikers away from these players that I've mentioned uh, including uh, one I want you to keep an eye on is Darwin Nunes who plays for Benfica having a good season for them City like to go to Portugal for some of their players so Keep an eye on that one uh, with regards to the summer. That's my tip on a striker that could become a Manchester City player if we can get him on a deal that we're happy to pay. Now, moving on to our last update, we've got a Goliath update on Lionel Messi. Right. Strap yourselves in. Messi, he's wanting the new president to be elected at Barcelona before he'll speak even about his future. Now, a journalist named Sergio Gonzalez, he's reported Lionel Messi is closer than ever to leaving Barcelona. How often have we heard that? Uh, apparently, if he does leave Barcelona, Manchester City, they are his preferred option. PSG have made it public, made it known. They're interested in signing Lionel Messi. Apparently, this isn't going uh, down too well with Lionel Messi and his entourage. Uh, and I say that because it's, it's too public. 
public. Um, Manchester City distancing themselves, uh, saying anything in the public is we're not making a move for Messi, we've never made a move for Messi, and also there is no contract on offer to Lionel Messi, even though right now we are free to speak to Messi to get him on a pre-contract agreement. Manchester City are not doing that out of respect to Barcelona and to Lionel Messi, doesn't want that to happen, uh, and so Manchester City just distancing themselves away from Lionel Messi. But uh, with word from close to the club is that Manchester City are still interested in Lionel Messi. If Lionel Messi makes his intentions clear that he wants to leave Barcelona, Manchester City will be trying to make that transfer happen. And with regard to that, uh, we have rumours floating around that City, uh, they want to give Lionel Messi a contract worth 500 million euros. Apparently, included in that uh, would be uh, Lionel Messi playing for the CFG. I would presume that means him going to America at some point. Apparently, City want to put Messi on a three-year deal uh, this summer. Uh, and then he'd go to America and then he'd become an ambassador after he's decided to hang up his boots after his time in America has come to an end uh, and he'd become an ambassador for the CFG uh, and that 500 million euros I imagine would be split over 10 equal payments over each year uh, and he'd get paid that on a monthly fee with whatever number that is which obviously is 50 million euros per year and gets paid that over a weekly uh, sum. Uh, so yeah. The problem I've got with this, Lionel Messi's 34 in the summer. If we're putting him on a, on a three-year deal, that means we've got him until he's 37. Uh, how, mu how much has he got in his legs uh, by the time he is 37? There's no doubt in the quality of Lionel Messi, and I certainly think he'd add a different dimension to our attack, and I would love him to be at Manchester City. There's two things I don't want to happen, though. Number one, if it means we sign Messi and not sign a younger Sergio Aguero long-term replacement, then I'm not a fan of of this deal. Uh, also, I'm not a fan of this deal if it's such a long contract, uh, if after a year the physicality of the Premier League there's a decline there of Lionel Messi that he's our highest paid player uh, that we've got him for another two years. I can see City may be willing to give him two years at a push. I can see City willing to give Messi what they might be willing to give Sergio Aguero. 12 months, option of another 12 based on appearances, based on goals. If he's still got it, keep rolling that 12 month contract till it gets to a point that uh, one or two things happens. Either Lionel Messi wants to leave or uh, Manchester City think that now is the time for you to leave and we'll move on to other, uh, other targets. It's going to be a big money deal this for Manchester City. It's going to be a very complicated deal for City to get done if we are to sign Lionel Messi. What we need to wait for though uh, is Lionel Messi to speak with the Barcelona new president elections on March 7th of this year. Um, when that's happened he'll sit down with the president once he's made his decision clear uh, and judging up it's, it's one of two ways by the way uh, the talks with uh, with the agent I'm hearing one thing and then another I'm hearing Messi looks unhappy wants to leave Barcelona he's not happy with how, how much they've declined uh, and then other cases there are they're willing to listen to Lionel Messi they'll appease Lionel Messi and they'll do anything to keep him at Barcelona with the finances that Barcelona have got though can they afford to keep Lionel Messi it's getting very interesting there'll be plenty more updates on this I will keep you up to date with the with, with regards to this transfer and all the other Manchester City transfers from now and right through the summer transfer window too uh, so yeah, I'll be giving you that news first and fast. So do make sure that you do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Let's grow the JSGC channel. Aiming for 16k subscribers now, less than 500 subs away. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. I am looking for an active sponsor for my daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window. So if you've got any business propositions, do let me know via my email. Don't forget also uh, to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video, aiming for 300 likes. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. So there we go. That has been the video. We've got plenty more Manchester City content to come, including an Arsenal preview and a live watch along this weekend. So do stay tuned for that. I'll be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfer news and latest news too as well. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So I've been JSGC. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. I do hope that everyone is safe and well at these very different difficult and challenging times as well. Let's all keep positive. Manchester City doing very well this season. Uh, we've got that to look forward to, a possible quadruple that we're trying to aim for. Uh, we've also got, hopefully soon, the return of fans to stadiums for everybody to look forward to as well. And also plenty of Manchester City content transfers. 
rumours. I know the people love it. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. And I'll see you all again very soon. So I've been JSGC bidding you a farewell. Peace. Ciao for now.